Hello, Pep. Uh, can you start with the injury situation, please? Any updates? No, I think everybody's okay. We're going yesterday was day off, so today I'm going to see how the people come. You seemed quite disappointed with the performance of some of your players after the game against Feyenoord on, on Tuesday night. How do you go about making sure that no element of complacency creeps in among some of your players? No, that is not true. I'm not disappointed. So sometimes I have to explain, I have to tell them what uh, we see about the performance. And I said many times, with me, complacency, that is not going to happen. Um, what about Huddersfield? Because we saw Manchester United go there a few weeks back and, and lose. How impressed have you been by the job that David Wagner has done getting his side together? Well, we played last season against them. So we were not able to win there in the FA, in the FA Cup. And we realised how complicated it is play there, away. Um, what uh, my colleague Vanet has done is speaks for itself. So. Everything was the championship or both the Premier League, and after made what they have done. Of course, the result against United is a good sign on to, to, but not just against United, not just against them. So I think at home they made a, a good result. In the beginning, they did as well. So well organized. When they decide to make high pressing, they are so intense. When they de decide to defend a little bit low, a deep, um, they are so well organized, quality with noise, and uh, and they have arguments. So, like every game away in Premier League, will be tough. Just finally, from me, we saw Umar Nias become the first Premier League player to get a, a retrospective uh, ban for alleged simulation or, or diving the other day. W what are your thoughts on the process? Do you think this is a, a good thing for for the Premier League or a, or a bad thing? Well, we have to accept uh, the rules, so it's what it is. Uh, always, always the football is a quick, quick game, a fast game, and, and the actions, the referees have to decide for a second, and sometimes, no, sometimes, always it's so complicated. Sometimes it helps you, sometimes not. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in the future because there will be always comparison about uh, the decision for that club, the decision for the other one, always a little bit uh, like this. Okay, would they decide? Uh, would they decide from the beginning of the season they're going to uh, ban this kind of actions? We knew that, so that's what it is. That's why I'm so happy that the rush against Arsenal is not banned. Pep, good afternoon. How, how dangerous are a team like Huddersfield and, and teams like them in the Premier League? Do you sense that a lot of teams now are raising their game a little bit because it is you and it is Manchester City they're playing? Well, I think all the teams want to win their own games. So Huddersfield is complicated, we know that, because we have experience of that. It's not the first time we, we go there. Last season we were there, so we know exactly what is going to happen. Uh, big atmosphere. Big fans, supports a lot, um, but it's the same when we go to Brighton the first game. You know, the people say, now oh, Brighton, uh, well, easy, it's normal. You know, after we see how difficult it is. You know, every game in Premier League, home away, is complicated. A third of the season gone this weekend. You, you could be on 37 points if you win. How, how satisfied are you with the season? Any particular aspects that really make you happy? So again, so we can talk about the points, the, 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 the okay, I'm happy. So, but I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking tomorrow, focus on tomorrow, of course, of course it's three points we have to play, but it's not the point, it's what we have to do. What we have done good in the recent, last recent games and what we have to improve, and that is what it is. So focus what we have to do, and after the result will be a consequence on that. Which aspect of the season really pleases you, though, so far? No, no complaints. No complaints at all. Just a little bit injured in terms of Mendy. Uh, and before Vincent and John Stone, sometimes we cannot control that. But in terms of many, many things, I'm, I'm pleased knowing we can do better. That is the uh, only we can do. Thank you. Welcome. Pat?
If you'd have been asked at the start of the season who you'd think was leading the goal scoring charts at this point, would you have been surprised that it's Raheem Sterling? Yeah. But, why? but why? It's, it's good. But in the other terms, because uh, Sergio don't play all the games, and Gabriel don't play all the games, so normally both are better than that. Than, than, but it's good. It's good how, how important it is for the players to know they win the games because they scored that goal, like for example, last game against Feyenoord. So that's good. That's good. So and it, it's important for everybody to chip in with those goals. Anyway. Will that be the key to your success this season? We have a lot of players who have the ability to score a goal, not just for the striker. Yeah, of course, it's so important. We cannot win the title just scoring one player, two players. When the set pieces score goals, our attacking midfielders, especially Kevin, has scored a lot of goals. The strikers, wingers score goals. Nico scored two or three or four goals, so that is so important. And just a final point, there's a lot of excitement amongst City supporters about Phil Foden. He's a local kid. He's made his debut now. How much of a part do you think he can play now going forward? I don't know. They know that like all the men. So we are so pleased that uh, it's so important for the clubs has one or two or three as much as possible. Local players or players grew up from the academy and when uh, him and the family as City fan support, it's always so important. And because they have a plus, so but uh, when we are going to take the decision to play or not to play depends on them, on his qualities, on his development, and a lot of things. Hi, Pep. Um, just wondering how did, how did Vincent come through his return to action against Leicester? Because obviously he didn't play against Feyenoord, and you know is he fine for this? Yeah, week? he's ready. He's ready to play tomorrow. Yeah. When Manchester United lost at Huddersfield a month ago, Jose said they had the wrong attitude, that they didn't match Huddersfield in terms of desire and attitude. How, how do you make sure your players don't do the same thing, don't go in there with the wrong attitude? We, we will try. We will try to play in the best way and best attitude, but uh, um, we will try. But all the managers, we try uh, to do that, to to the warnings to say, be careful, it doesn't matter to a team. Sometimes with the big names in the big clubs, sometimes you think it's easier. But uh, we, we, I think we know exactly what is uh, Huddersfield. We were there a month ago, and I think that's helped us to be what happened. But at the end is the game. Sometimes uh, we have to accept sometimes the opponent is better. And, and and when you play, for example, against Napoli, and Napoli play amazing 30 minutes, you say, OK, it's what acted to. Uh, they play better. So you have to accept, shake hands, so you are better than us in that period of the game. So we cannot deny or we cannot forget never. So we play against another ones, and the other ones are good as well. Can I just ask briefly as well about Edison? Um, I think the stats are out that he's got the best com pass completion rate of all the keepers in the, in the Premier League and also the most short passes as well. Obviously, you like to play out from the back in, in, in that respect. But how impressed have you been with the way he has adapted to, to England? And yeah, a lot. Performance level? Uh, a lot, yeah, yeah. So, well, not just in England, because of course, but uh, when, when, when you buy one player, especially for another country come here, you always the first moments you expect how we're going to react or, you know, settle the family, the house and the kids, the school and, it's a process. Sometimes it's not easy for some players, but he settled quite quite good, and he's so calm. So in the bad moments, in the good moments, always the same behavior, and and give us a lot of confidence. A couple more for the embargo, guys, please. Uh, just back on Raheem Pep. Um, he's got 11 now, which I think is a personal best for him. Quite logically, if he carries on like this, he's going to get maybe 20, 25 goals. Um, you've had Ribéry and Rob, R Robin and Bayerno, you had Pedro. Is he, is he up at that sort of level now as a goal-scoring wide player? So I don't what know. What's he done to improve? Yeah, I, I think he has not put a lot of pressure to how many scores I have to score. So now in the moment is the best, the best moment in his career. Equal, equal best. So we are in November, so we have a lot of, uh, you know, time to... But not, I think he has not think too much about... Uh, how many? So the mentality to to keep going and scoring goals and produce in the first half he made against Feyenoord two or three actions, one against one, and make an assist for Bernardo, another chipping for another one. So he has to just focus and play good and try to play better, better, better. And when that's happened and you are in good confidence, the goals 
are coming in the end of the season. We're going to celebrate how many goals. And as much goals will be better because next season we'll have that point, that record to, to break. And that's good. That's good. The, the record is good to break it because the, the year later you have another, you know, target to to do it. And, and that is that's good. Hi, Pep. Um, in terms of the stuff you say, City still needs to improve. You say the last pass and finishing those kind of opportunities on the yeah. break. Is that harder to coach than the than getting the players in the right position to score the goal? Those individual actions are they harder to work on in training? I, I think I think always we have. Uh, I believe that all the players can improve for all aspects. So if you believe uh, I cannot improve that, why why we are here? But we cannot forget. I said many times to the players, their action is the most difficult part of the the, uh, the game. So to score goals is the most difficult part of the game, and to take a right decision. It's always, but always you can improve. You see what happened when 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 you miss or you you are not. Perfect to, to do this kind of actions and improve. Of course, we can we can work on that and, and improve in the future. Of course, with Leroy, with Raj, with this kind of players, we can improve. If you want to say, hi Pep. Hi. During your whole career, you have gone have given uh, opportunities in the first team for the first time for more than 30 players, young players, and Phil Foden, if I'm not wrong, was the number 31. And uh, how do you feel when you give the first opportunity for a young boy, uh, a young talent? And how do you? But what, what I have to say is that if, if we give the opportunity to young players because they deserve it, that is the most important thing. They deserve it because they are good, not because, OK, for my statistics more. Second point, so one young player is settled or is, uh, you can see, I, we held them when they play regularly. So we play one game or two games and after disappear, that is nothing. That is nothing. So most of maybe 30 players. but. Maybe you can help him for a short time and go to another club, and they set up perfect, and they make a long, long career. That's happened as well. So, but all the managers around the world, when they have a good academies, always they look at them how they are, and after that, it depends of of many reasons. But of course, we are pleased because all the players, the big important players in the big important teams, always they once they give the first time. So it's the same what happened with Phil or with Brahim last game. <coughs> Happen all the players around the world. So that it depends, of course, on our confidence and their confidence and, and the rest. It, it always depends on them. The people say, no, it depends on the managers. No, no, no. It depends on the players, the quality and how they live the profession and how good they are. It's simple like that. Pat, given the success that City are having playing the way they're playing this season, because it's so attacking, do you think other teams in this country will try to emulate that? Or do you think it will be more a case of teams just trying to stop City and, mm. and how is the best way to approach playing your city team? Do you think? No, no, no. So the managers, all the managers, do what they believe. Copy paste doesn't work in football. No, no. So every every manager, every manager always is the, they do what they believe. I, I, for example, I, I see many things from my colleagues, so I, I like a lot what they do. When I believe, I try to. A little bit imitated, but at the end I do what I believe in the open in my colleagues as well. So that is what I think. Well, so did you learn anything from the players that came in that played on Tuesday that haven't had much game time this season? Was there anything you could take from their performances? Uh, uh, Feyenoord? Yeah, I learned a lot of them. And most of them I'm very pleased how they played. Yeah. Are there, are there any specific and I learned when when we didn't play the first half. The reason why we 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 we, we didn't well, and the reason why. So that is so important. It happened now, especially when you won the game, and especially you were already qualified. So when you make 16, 15, 16 games in a, in a row, 17 games in a row, winning, 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 you have to leave this kind of situation sometimes. You can say, oh, guys, be careful, it's so complicated, but they have to leave, sometimes play bad, make a bad game to realize, oh, that is complicated to do that. So it's happened in the first half, and that's why maybe, maybe I don't know, for tomorrow, for the future, will be good. It will be so good what happened in the first half against, against Feyenoord. Are there any specifically specific players that you think No, 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 it's involved. No, it's involved in 11. 
It's about the tension. It's not about the good pass or bad pass or good action. It's about what we spoke about, what we have done a long time, and sometimes we don't do that. And we can make one guy didn't realize, or maybe two, but cannot happen. Ten players didn't realize what you have to do. And that's because sometimes we are not completely there. And in that level, we have to be, we have to be there. I understand we were already qualified, and, and OK, it's a final, zero points like this, but we can, we can we have the way we played, maybe we cannot win the game. And after you have to go to Shakhtar to try to win, to, to first first, to finish first in the in the table. So football I know so is complicated. Being every three days be ready, but that is the point. If you want to become something, that is the point. Everybody can play amazingly during a, a long time. But you want to become became a good, good team. You have to be every single three days. You have to do what you have to do. And that, that's why it's so complicated to play in a big, in a, in a big teams. Hola, Pep. Buen dia. Ens podries explicar com va ser el teu primer contacte amb Phil Foden? El primer cop que vols que jugar? El Chiqui me'n va parlar. Em va dir un nen de 15 o 16 anys que, que, que és molt i molt bo. I em van passar un dia d'aquest, vaig veure uns highlights, i després va venir un dia, alguns dies a entrenar, I a partir d'aquí va ser, però la primera vegada va ser xic i me'n va parlar. I want to ask you about Phil Foden, if you remember what was your impression or your first contact when you first saw him on when you know about him. It was Chiqui Begristein who uh, talked to me about him. Uh, there's a guy, he told me, there's a guy of 15, 16 years old, he's very talented. And I watched some highlights from him that then he came to train with us. And since then I've known him, but uh, the first contact, the first time I know about him, it was uh, thanks to Chiqui. Hola, mister. Eh, hoy acaba de, hace pocos minutos, recibir su cuarta bota de oro Leo Messi. Eh, hoy es Black Friday, justo toca que Black Friday. No sé si el Black Friday también es en el fútbol, pero con esta locura del mercado. Tú que conociste bien a Leo, ¿crees que va a poder renovar finalmente la persona? ¿Se va a quedar finalmente? Eso es lo que todos deseamos. 